Link 2012. Okay, welcome back. I restarted my computer, uh, changed the batteries in my mouse, unplugged and replugged my mouse. It seems to be working much better now. Okay, I might change out the battery once more throughout this recording, um, just to be sure. But anyways, we are good. I'm breaking two protection to those pieces of armor really aren't worth my time. Okay. Let's go ahead and put all our junk away. Okay. Oh wow, we're pretty much close. I really should be using these chests for bones and rotten flesh. Because to be honest with you, they're a different type of drop. Alright. There's not a lot of space in here. Let's go ahead and throw this out. XP bottles. We actually need a lot of those, so let's go ahead. Uh, but we also need to put away a few of these items. I'm going to keep these in here for now. Diamond leggings can get put away for sure. Now these diamond leggings aren't that bad, but they're nothing compared to what we have on right now. Okay, light. We did use up a ton of light going through that area. We're going to have to get some more light soon. I would, I'm surprised we went through so much of it. Um, but I guess that's what ends up happening. Alright, so this should be enough XP bottles. If not, it's not the end of the world. Uh, Alright, good. We're here. Let's go to the main attraction. Oh, we might want some more gapples. Okay, we're fine. Right, uh, we can put our panic potion here. That'd be nice. Whoop. Still getting some lag here. All right, this is this guy. So we need 15, 22, 30, 32. That's hundreds and hundreds of XP bottles. I mean, I guess it keys are worth a lot. The issue is that if we lose these, it's really bad for us. Like a chest full of XP bottles right here. Now, thankfully, we went through and uh, supplies arsenal I'm not gonna have enough special items and then crafting recipes oh what on earth crafting recipes <gasps> I forgot about those those are actually super valuable and we're gonna keep those in here oh boy we might not have enough we have 31 how much do we need oh, we need 32 we need three more bottles of enchanting okay well we can get that from just killing basic things right so let's kill some stuff. This is probably the wrong way to go. We really should be, because we already lit up most of this area. We should be trying to be a little bit farther in this area over here. Yeah, so we're actually the crafting recipes key we're going to keep here. It's worth 320. All these are worth hundreds of XP bottles. So just to give you a frame of reference, we're... Oops. All right, we're gonna break through here so that we can get him out. I just need some key bottles. Okay, that is one under here. Where are you at? Over here. Now this sort of lit up over there, but I'm gonna go light it up a little bit more. You guys get down from there. <laughs> this is where the harpoon guns come into play. Always uh, with these archangels, because when they get hit off, they're uh, when they get hit off, we can easily take them down. But only in the situation that 
Uh, what happens? Okay, so crafting recipes key. So immediately that should be very look seem very valuable, and it is. It is very valuable. Down each of these is a chest. I remember. How much damage do you do? <laughs> Nothing. All right, arsenal key. Holy smokes, legendary items. Advanced harpoon guns. I'm not gonna take normal diamond leggings. I really only wanna take things that are unbreakable. Okay, let's go back up here. I can't remember what's up here. Probably not a crafting recipe. I'm really looking forward to finding those though. Spawn or buster, ooh. That's really cool. And I'm actually going to put that on right now. I'm going to be using this for a little bit. Because while it doesn't have silk touch, it's going to be able to melt through anything we need to destroy. It is going to be annoying getting into each of these. Oh, likes! Throw it on the ground to regenerate 5 HP. Oh, yes, I remember these now. Oh, boy, wow. Speed, regen. Oh, we're going to take some speed and regen for now. That's for sure. I mean, we, we already have uh, speed, so it's when it goes away, we're going to get something else. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Should I? I'm going to keep these instead of gapples for now. We'll eat gapples in order to regenerate uh, hunger. Just purple stained clay. Well, it's better than blocks. That's for sure. We're actually going to take these because they do make a good food source. And are those panic potions right there? No, they're meditation. Yeah, we don't really need that. Oh, wait, there's a stamina potion and some philosophy potion. That's really nice. And those are all those chests are custom placed too. Yes, they do have locks on all of them, but they do they are still custom. Now my question here is what's this chest? Because nope. No, it just doesn't have any any key to it. That's interesting. We have special items key. So this is a rune sword. Ooh. So I guess this is the final sort of rarity is rune. Uh, and these have amazing enchants. So this is 12 attack damage. 16% attack damage and 77% speed. So this is significantly better than this. Except for the fact that, you know, unfortunately it can't get Sharpness 5 on it, which is why it sort of gets compensated with all those other bonuses. Alright, so I want to come in here and take this down first, first foremost. Very good, I'm getting hunger. We already have a group ahead. <laughs> I love I love what he says. He says, uh, I, I like adventures with my friends. It feels nice. That's Grupo for you. Give me, give me, give me that saturation. Ouch. This is a lot more dangerous than I thought. Thankfully, the outside area is somewhat clear. It is a bit slow, the game, that is. I'm not going to worry about you for now, Archangels. I see the spawner up there. Oh, I see a spawner up there. Yeah, you stay up there. So the, the archangels will... What is it? Follow you? Uh, sorry, they'll follow your height. They'll, they'll, they'll always try to be a little bit above you, for obvious reasons. Okay, so it looks like there's spawners down here somewhere. I'm not sure exactly where. So you see, they, they're getting the likes. We just got a like right there. From one of the, uh, from one of the, those guys. Which is ironic, because they carry dislikes. Oh, whoops, I am using this like crazy, even though... Ow, just get out! Nope, 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 nope. Man, that was pretty bad. Yes, yeah, so you get some really nice regen right there. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and eat one of these. 
Yeah, as you can see, progressing through this is not going to be a piece of cake. Those spawner busters, though, they're going to be very nice. All right, we're going to drop off some of our items quick, quick. I really hope we get some more ender chests in here, because this is going to be a pain. Yeah, that rune sword is going to be good. I'm telling you. All right, I just want to get everything that's over there over here. If possible. Yeah, the zombies multiply a lot in this area. I'm pretty sure I made it so that way they, when they spawn, they would have that effect. Because there is an attribute that allows you to uh, increase the chance that they split. I'm not sure what it's called. Yeah. Out. Right, yeah, that was pretty bad. Alright, there's still some other guys around here. Alright, let's come up here to this tree. Oh, come on. There we go. No! What is it? I can't, I can't quite get up here. Come on, I just need to get up here. There we go. That's what I want. Oh, it's already exposed. Okay, let's see here. Yeah, the fireworks were really fun to make. I wanted something that was entertaining in the area, you know, some sort of aesthetic to it. And so I decided to add that in. All right, so that that cove right there is just a pain for now. Let's actually shoot a few arrows in there to get what whatever's in there out. No mobs? Okay. So now, now I'm finally like feeling the use of the harpoon gun. It's, it's actually a, a benefit to me. Um, you know what? That archangel spawner right there, we're just going to keep the ones in the middle. And we'll take down these ones over here. Because this guy is causing us trouble. Oh boy, there's a lot in there. We're going to have a fun time going through all of that. Okay, that goes all the way through, so we're not going to worry about it quite yet. There's a spawner right there, signifying that there's something in there. See, all these little areas that you can go into that have stuff in them. A lot of these areas couldn't be accessed easily in a, on the actual server. You'd have to use pet exploits in order to get through the, the walls. I always loved doing that, though. That was my favorite, uh, favorite thing to do, was get into areas that... They, they existed, but you couldn't normally see what was in them because... Okay, I was just trying to get in that area right there. Um, you couldn't normally get in them. There we go, now we're up there. We're in. Perfect. Because, of course, this place is entirely closed off. And, uh... This is a blue chest. Special items. Lucid Dream. Oh, yes. And these are all just normal bows, it looks like. I'm just surrounding it. Okay, so Lucid Dream is power 8 and flame 2. Burns. Fire burns for 10 seconds. Fathoms from the fires of Vex's heart. I have a lot of references to Vex in this map. Uh, Vex is an amazing, uh, amazing guy. He made so many of my favorite CTMs. Very unforgiving CTMs, but absurdly fun CTMs nonetheless. All right, so we're going to check out this chest right here. There's actually some heads we want in here. I just want to make sure that there's no spawners going off. All right, let's go ahead and grab whatever. Okay, we got a, uh, one of these helmets. Oh, oh. Well, Dream is a much better bow than... Oh, this isn't unbreakable. Grants regeneration on kills. I thought it, I thought it might have been unbreakable, but it wasn't in the end. Right, so I want some of these helmet heads, uh, particularly the zombie pigmen and the Enderman. I'm pretty sure we already have skeleton and zombie. This is for the nether walls. 
Yeah, mega walls. Sorry, not nether walls. Mega walls. Uh, pretty big difference. Okay, nothing in there. Alright, let's come in here. Light it up a little bit. Yeah, I already see where some of the spawners are in here. There's one under here, I believe. Yep. That's correct. Right, there's one on the ceiling right there. Or probably multiple on the ceiling. I couldn't imagine there being just one. Yeah, like right here. I can just feel it. I put some up here. No, surprisingly not. There's these nice little areas up here that only VIPs could get to. Okay, so let's... I just want to make sure that this is all safe before doing anything. Okay, we're good, I think. All right. Oh, yes! What is this? Bread of anti-life. It's got smite 3, sharpness 1, knockback 3, fire aspect 3. Basically, all these awesome things. And it gives less health, less speed, but it's got a whole whopping ton of attack damage. This is probably much better than the weapon I currently have on. So let's just use it for now. Alright, so we just can't travel with this, but we can absolutely wreck whatever comes to us with it. That's actually pretty disorienting, and while it is cool and very powerful, I would much rather have uh, something that I, I can rely on. I want to be able to see when I'm doing everything. Just like right there. Yeah, rebels are everywhere now, by the way. Before, in this map, rebels would only be where, play, where uh, emeralds were. But right now, we are finding rebels absolutely everywhere. I really want more of these likes. Oh, and this is an extended cheesy potion. We really don't need cheesy potions right now, to be completely honest with you. We've already got, because of that perk, the, the emerald block perk, we already have so much. I saw something down there. I I it. Okay. Anyways, there's this right here. Killer ale for $5. Not into it. The only key that might work on that would be the supply crate key. The uh, crafting recipe key. They really like their pubs, man. The Mithrina team. Oh, these are both. That one's yellow. Nothing in there. Oh, boy. Yeah, we might not need uh, any. Wallets. We really don't care about any of this stuff though, even though their real immobility potions are pretty cool. It might be helpful in the final boss. And so on. Okay. I can't remember if we got it. I'm pretty sure we, yeah, we already got that chest right there. Um, I may actually check the roof of this place. Just to see if there's anything. No, that's not, it's not going to be so easy to get up here. Right, it doesn't look like there's anything. We're just gonna go on. Move on. Alright, but that's one more area that we have explored. Rid of the dislikers. Yeah, if you remember, there were two ratings on the forums. There were the, the this one. With the, that's the same as the barrier block. I can't remember what it was. No, it wasn't the same as the barrier block. Well, this was a disagree. There was an X, red X that was disagree, and then there was also a dislike. And I, I remember advocating strongly against them. The, the reason in this they're in this map is not for that reason. It's not to put down dislikes for the reasons that I always argued on the forums um, for dislikers. Dislikes. Go ahead and get the arsenal right here. Right. Wow, a legendary chest plate and an unbreakable chest plate. I want this. Oh, I see what's over there. You see, I didn't see this before, but. 
parts. All right, we're gonna grab that and go. We already have plenty of diamonds, and we can easily get diamonds in the right of them, so we're not gonna worry about trying to grab those. Right, but if you look back here, there is something. There is a staircase that leads up to right here. The AP lounge up here. So this is the remember this is the place I, I mentioned earlier about being that was super deadly. Here we are. Right. Now we're taking out a few spawns, but remember that a lot of them are hidden in the walls. Just to make this area difficult. Well, not just to make it easier, but also make it fun. Difficult is fun. Or somewhat. Okay, yeah. The, the, I'm always scared shooting the harpoon gun in here because I know that it's going to result in me pulling stuff from other places other than where I'm intending it to hit. I just want to take down the Archangel right now, that's why I'm doing that. Right, where is this, their spawner over here though? Because I know there's a spawner over here for them. I think I saw something under this guy. Yep. Right. Okay. Yep, see that? Right there. Ouch. Let's drop it. Like, okay, I'm just gonna use one. Okay, so I saw one spawn over here. Likely a spawn around here somewhere. But anyways, I want to read the... Oh, cool! We just got a free chest. Horse meat! Don't tell. <laughs> uh... One second. Oh, I don't really have much space anymore. I need to, uh... I need to clear up my inventory. This... This are horse meat products. Don't tell anyone. Yeah. This is actually in the original map, and I decided to actually put horse meat in there. Bartender note. If Tesco value large runs out, substitute with emergency backup battery acid. Bonus crypt clue. Found day two. Bonus clue. Interesting. So that was the crypt clue. There was some event going on at the time. Tesco value large. Warm ale. I don't even know what those different gears are, to be honest with you. Oh boy, Spike, Diamond, Exoskeleton, Thorns, 14. I got, I'm gonna come back for that. There's some furnaces right here, nothing in them though, surprisingly. Right, we're gonna go... Man, the mob is just spawning like crazy in here. That exoskeleton, it's really only valuable in its individual pieces. But say we substitute the helmet, for instance, that would give us, uh, that'd be very powerful. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. Um, what else do we want to throw away right now? We don't really need to throw anything away. Yeah, like this helmet, it can, it can be replaced. To be honest with you, and this chest plate, it's got thorns on it, but it's not it's gonna do as much damage as this exoskeleton is gonna do. It doesn't have a set bonus though, which is an interesting thing. And we can't pause to look at it, we actually have to look at it in the chaos. You know what? We really should be carrying around Lucid Dream with us, because that's another good bow. You see, we just keep carrying around so many things, though, our inventory. <laughs> we don't have space for much. All right, so I'm just going to take a look at this. So this has 5% attack damage. All these have 5% attack damage. And the boots probably have a bit of speed. No, they actually don't. Um, I'd still be willing to trade it, though. Because knockback resistance isn't the most important thing ever. Um... Whoops. Do I not have enough space to get my backpack? Alright. 
We're going to go ahead and put our exoskeleton in here for now. We're also going to put a few other items because we can. Go ahead and grab all the diamond stuff. Very, very good. Okay. We are more or less set. Let's take Lucid Dream out with us. What I want to do with this Lucid Dream is I want to... shoot a few arrows just around this general region that we're going to try to go to in due time. That way we we set on fire anything that's in here. Excuse me, I guess. True. Sneezes. Yeah, you see. I'm pretty sure that they get destroyed as soon as they hit the ground, but still. It's just really nice to shoot around and light anything on fire that's in this general region. Alright, so thankfully we have Charisma of Levitation, we can get up here. And anything else that's up here is going to have a hard time. Alright, we're going to go through quickly and light it all up. Actually, we're not going to be able to light this all up at all. There's just so much. But we can try to go through a lot of it. Apparently he got a carpoon gun. Right. Oh boy, we need to jump out. Okay, we're up here. Yeah, we definitely need to do that. <laughs> we are not doing too well. Okay, very good, we're down. I'm gonna eat one of these now. Hey, welcome! Oh, I don't want those. These. Oh, thank you. Free regen. Oh boy, those guys are not good at all. I don't like the Stravers! Ah! But, as you can tell, they have the original Strafe head. Modeled after him. He changed his name. It was actually hard to find his head. I I had to go do some research. Well, not hard, but, you know, it wasn't easy. Okay, right there. You see it? Right there. Making progress. Ouch! Oh, come on, bat. I don't actually hit him. Do some damage. But yeah, they'll still strafe even if they're in the ground, which is the funny thing. Just had the way I, I made it. Alright, so let's grab this here. Another lucid dream. Very nice. Responder Buster. I don't know how much durability is on this. I need to go look up, back up how to how to see the durability of items. Why is my demon scale not hitting it? Oh, come on, I saw something there. There's something in one of these spots. Oh, well, we're gonna have to grab the kill, kill, uh, kill the spawner there later. Let's go around here. I'm pretty sure there's something around somewhere over here. Yeah, right up here on this balcony. Sorry about the lag, by the way. Not sure what's going on. There it is, right here. We're good. Alright, and there's a little thing right here. We're not going to go down there quite yet. So I want to grab whatever this is. I'm pretty sure this is enchanting books. I remember. Putting this here. It's these really obscure things that you might not normally see. Oh, never mind. It's just this thing. Okay, it's fine. Where, where am I getting shot from? I'm being very careful about shooting because I don't want. I don't want to have to deal with um, getting things from halfway across the world. Right, 
There's a rune sword. I wonder if we're gonna get any rune swords that aren't breakable. That are, uh, sorry. That I can put any enchantment one on them. Oh, that does not look fun. Actually, it sort of does. Oh, that's, that's my thing. My thing's explosions. Of course it looks fun. Not for... It would not be nice because I wouldn't be able to do all the items, though. Okay. So far, so good. Alright, we're gonna get back there in a bit. Alright, so 